Welcome, welcome to the DEF CON 28 safe mode. And this is the launch of Voting Machine Hacking Village at DEF CON. This is the fourth time we are in at DEF CON and this has been, it, every year it is a hassle to get everything running. This year we have, we have been doing something we have never done before, trying to go virtual in just a few months time. Uh, it has been a tremendous uh, amount of work and so many people have been helping us to get this done. We are here at, in Quantico and the Quantico Cyber Hub uh, voting village along with the ICS village and a couple of other villages. We are operating our back end from the same central location so that we can help each other and support each other through this whole exercise. It's very nice again to be back in DEF CON. This is really uh, a weird experience because we are not meeting at, in a meet space instead of in the virtual space. Uh, I certainly hope we next year we will be able to, again, uh, have our controversies, have our disagreements and our wonderful beers over a physical space and, and do it that way. Before I start to introduce what this year is going to bring, let me first of all thank uh, uh, Mary Hanlis. She is behind the scenes helping to organize this whole thing. Uh, my two co-organizers uh, will have a little bit of word. I've, unfortunately, I will need to speak on behalf of one of the co-organizers because he is home and in unfortunately so ill that he felt that coming to video call is too much a, a hassle at the moment. But let's start from Maggie, Maggie McAlpa, and one of the uh, co-organizers. Maggie, if you want to give a word. Uh yeah, thank you all so much for joining us. This is obviously a really crazy year, but uh, maybe it's uh, going to be a really good year. It's going to be really interesting to see uh, what DEF CON virtual is like. Obviously, this is a very important year from election uh, perspective. You may have heard there is going to be an election later this year. Uh, so we hope that you will uh, find our talks interesting and engaging, and we hope they will make you want to vote even harder than ever. Uh, that is definitely going to be really important this year. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Please have patience as we build this airplane in the sky. We, we think we've got a really great lineup for you. And we're just, uh, we're, we're just really excited to have been able to meet you virtually this year and to just in general be able to share uh, what we can of the Voting Village with you. And I'll turn it over to Dan. Well, the next uh, person to be introduced is Dan Weber. Previous years, we have been really running this mostly out of our own pocket. And we haven't had a nonprofit of our own to support our operation. This year, it changed. We have finally completed the incorporation of nonprofit supporting the Voting Village Election Integrity Foundation. Dan Weber is a co-organizer of the Voting Village, but also the CEO of our nonprofit Election Integrity Foundation. Dan. Thank you, Hari. Hey, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure and honor to be here and talk to you guys today. Um, you know, it's you know, really important this year from uh, election integrity, not that it's more important any other year, but with everything going on in the world and such, uh, you know, there's just a heightened uh, sensitivity as well as a need to get out there and to uh, volunteer, be part of the process. You know, if you can get people out to vote, that's great. If you can go and become a poll worker, that's even more important uh, because, you know, with the aging population and folks and that, they're just not able to come out. And so, you know, get out there and volunteer for it. You know, we're very uh, privileged. Um, HBO, uh, if you probably have seen it, if not, go to at Voting Village DC and that you'll find the link. Uh, they've opened up the movie Kill Chain, of which both Hari and Maggie are part of and such, for a uh, free viewing for all of DEF CON. So until Sunday night, 1159, uh, you know, I'm saying PM, they've allowed us to uh, go out and do that. You know, visit us uh, at Election and Tag. Uh, which is a Twitter hashtag for it and such, and uh, be part of it. You know, part of our, our goal and mission is to uh, continue to do these uh, voting villages, to do education, get out there and teach folks about, you know, uh, cybersecurity around the election and, and participate with other communities and such that are out there. And so we really appreciate the, uh, the support and uh, you bearing with us this year as, uh, you know, we've gone into safe mode with uh, DEF CON here at the uh, voting village. Thanks so much, guys. Sorry. Yeah. So as we are now official uh, uh, nonprofit, we also are doing a little fundraising by selling swag. Uh, there's a link in our Discord uh, where you can 
choose which kind of swag you might want to uh, buy if you want to support our ongoing effort to educate people on cyber warfare and cyber uh, security on election and election security on whole outside of cyber, because we're talking a lot about election security measurements and educating which are in the physical space instead of cyberspace. And a quick shout out to Mar Williams for doing our art this year. It's really incredible, really beautiful stuff. Uh, and uh, last but not least, I mean, the movie which I mentioned, is, uh, it was filmed three years at DEF CON, so you see a lot of familiar faces from Dark Tangent to Dr. Mouse in the movie. So I hope you join us for us. And now, uh, unfortunately, Matt Place, uh, one of the co-founders and co-organizers, uh, said he is he's very excited. We have worked very hard for this. Uh, he has been having a unspecified, a hopefully not corona, uh, and he is home in in condition that he. I spoke with him just before this, and he he wanted me to express how excited he is and how how he's regretting that uh, at this point of time he didn't feel that uh, doing a video call would be possible because of uh, how ill he is. So. We certainly hope a speedy recovery and that everything turns out the best possible way. And we truly miss that he is not here with us because Matt has always been, not only for our village, but the DEF CON and our, all the other conferences, such a huge amount of energy and encouragement and guidance how to get these things done. So this year, uh, because it's election year, uh, and this is an election year, not only in the United States of America, and in a number of other countries. So we are so focused in the, the everything dominating cycle about US elections that we forecast there are a number of other important democracies who are equally having a, 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 shed, a bellwater and shed, a shed water election this year, still this year. So let's keep in mind, we are all in this together as a democracy. We all are facing similar challenges. We all have similar kind of attacks against our systems and our, our governance. So whatever we are We're going to have a few talks about that, but more about that later. First of all, I would like to uh, in, uh, introduce uh, a follow-up of our a last year started Unhappy Ballot Initiative. Unhappy Ballot, which we started last year, was never needed to be a one-off. It was uh, it's ongoing, and the concept in its heart is to provide election officials, local election officials, who are under-resourced and have limited access to the knowledge and expertise, access to the local area, 
willing patriotic wherever they are hackers and security researchers who can provide them information guidance advice value valuation of what they have been proposed so we started that last year because 2020 is such an important election year in the us and we are facing a unique set of problems we were not preparing the coronavirus we have to, right now a lot of things has to be changed and a, a implemented from practices from another state have to be implemented over the board, see how that fits to the local laws and practices. We started an initiative called CyberSearch. CyberSearch this year is starting right now and ending up the election. This is a, a one-off initiative project, making that unhacked ballot as efficient as possible for this election year. We have been calling uh, volunteers and we, we have in the Discord channels for the cyber search both in text and in video. We have been calling volunteers who want to help their local election officials. And we have always obviously offered also the local election officials who need to have help to identify myself and, and tell us what they think would be the best need they uh, best uh, resources they, they would need to have or want to have. Bearing in mind that sometimes they don't even know, unfortunately, exactly what they need. But that's part of the learning experience. We had in our head a false image. We think that there is an election office, and the election office has an IT department, and the IT department has a security practice. That is very much not true in most of the United States, and most of the world, actually, but especially not, not most of the US. There is an election office, and they might have one or two IP people part-time, and volunteers, no security practice whatsoever. Security, if it's existing, is outsourced, it comes from uh, organizations who are volunteering help, like Department of Homeland Security, or volunteers and companies who are, who are selling them services, but they really don't have in-house expertise. And if you look, since Help America, Vote Act 2002, how much new technology has been pouring in, you really should have an IT department which happens to do elections, uh, not the other way around. So local election officials need help, and they don't have funds, they don't have resources, they don't have access to the expertise. So we are here to help and make sure them that any way we can, we will pair knowledge to the people who need to have the knowledge. And local election officials, they're working really hard, they're good people. They are in an impossible situation. Impossible situation because of the asymmetric uh, nature of cyber war. Every other war we fall, fight, land, sea, underwater, air, space, are natural domains with natural laws of physics. Cyber is a man named domain. It's inherently, borderless, inherently asymmetric. And in that environment, they are fighting a war. If you, if the foreign nation would have a land invasion with the tanks coming to the US, you wouldn't ask the local sheriff, please stop them. In reality, that's what happens in local election officials. They are the last and only line of defense, massively artifacted, and they are dealing with the nation state, motivated, highly motivated attacks. So please join us in, in that initiative uh, in, in uh, Discord. Uh, also, please join us in the Election Integrity Foundation and, and tell what Election Integrity Foundation can do to help you, especially when we look to education, etc. Please uh, join us with the, uh, uh, the Kill Check movie on the movie night. Speaker track will start right after this talk. And speaker track this year, because we are virtual, we have turned this to be a little bit different tone than last year's. Last year, because we, after the talks, we have been able to have a debate on, on, on the hallways and the room, and you can get feedback. There's a lot of opportunities. We don't have that this year. The speakers have no way of knowing whether their talk was well received or not at the time the, spoke, the talk is over or immediately after that, because there's this is a one way street right now in most of the cases. So we are here to help. So this year, we have been deliberately inviting speakers, 
who have who are proposing or asking comments for ideas, which has been partially rejected by security committee, controversial speakers who come with a package and are wanting to have a feedback or are offering in a, a data set for research. So what we want to do, we invite the same way as in that one, we are going to compile, normally we are compiling annual report. And in this year, the annual report will have a bigger section about the speaker track talks than normally is. We are inviting feedback in short form or in long form with your name to be quoted, with your handle only or completely anonymous. Uh, feedback, comments, short form, long form for all the talks. And from those, we will compile into the annual report for the speakers, for the, for the community in large. What, uh, what were the guidance, what were the thoughts from the greater security uh, community around the world and especially in the US? So we are welcoming that. And this is something which we, we saw the opportunity because we go to virtual where we can do something which we wouldn't have been doing in, when, when we were in person. Again, since we are doing this this way, uh, this year, as always, but especially this year, uh, being selected as a speaker is not endorsement by us that we are behind the uh, speaker or the ideas. Uh, we don't uh, stand in that. Instead, we are saying this is there's a lot of things that we need to talk about and what we need to be educating each other. So please provide your feedback. In the case there's a research, please provide your research. We have given you uh, all in the documentation, in the speaker track documentation and our onboarding guide, links how to find everything. And the idea again is you can provide the feedback in any mode, long form, long form short form, anonymous, handle or name, what which are, and or background information without quotation at all. We are actually asking if you want to be involved, even if you are anonymous. So please provide us feedback. We will compile it. And since we don't have the normal physical hacking going that much, the report will be more about that. We also encourage, because people have from last year's, uh, all the things and information which you have extracted from the physical devices we have, all that research is hopefully going to uh, uh, resume. And once there's outcomes of those research, we are more than willing and we are welcoming and we are almost begging. We send that information and we will compile it to our annual report. Last but not least, this year, because of the nature of this uh, pandemic, um, as it were, we are quickly changing uh, the gears. Uh, there have been a lot of debate out on, on, on the media, uh, a surge of interest. Uh, we have all probably been exposed about the controversy over uh, mailing balloting. Uh, there is again these ideas about uh, internet voting or, or mobile phone voting or blockchain voting, ideas which are not only rejected by the security community, but also over and over demonstrated in academic papers and peer reviewed papers why this is not an implementation issue, this is a fundamental issue, which we don't think uh, there's a solution in the foreseeable future how these technologies can be uh, implemented. So we have talks which are explaining how you run elections in this environment, what other mechanisms you use to increase the trust. One of those being a paper last week published about uh, how the ballot marking devices are a, a unauditable, so why that technology, even when it provides a decent paper, actually is not trustworthy. Uh, that is would have been a bigger uh, part of the debate if we would be working uh, working more in person in a polling place. Nevertheless, that is a rolling in new technology. We will be having talks about a uh, tools how you can check and communicate with uh, about your own elections with the central central resources find help and validate if what you have seen is something which should be further investigated and should be further reported. Uh, we are always talking about uh, risk limiting audits as a method 
of validating that the outcome of the election has picked up the right winners. So, resident new audit is a low labor mathematical method which allows a huge uh, public participation and transparency. The method is about proving that the election outcome is right, not that the, every single last vote is counted accurately, because that it never happens really, and it doesn't matter if the election is still proven to have the right results. And as always, we are going to have conversations about what are all the ways we can do to improve and, and get this better. So, we have the channels opened, uh, I hope, since I'm in the podium, I can check it <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Uh, we, are, we have a, a, a channels there to ask staff. We are here to help. We can make changes. We, if you have an idea, if you have a project which you want to uh, quickly introduce to other people, we do have a video and voice channels contact staff saying, I would like to make a mini talk. And I, will, I have this research project, I have these results, I have this image file I want to look at. Whatever it is you want to ask us, can we do this? Please send us a note. We will figure out the time slot. We will put you into one of the video channels and we will make announcement on the announcement channel that this new activity is going to be in the Whatever we can do to help make this more enjoyable for you, make more uh, leverage your knowledge, make this to be better experience, more educating experience, let us know. Whatever we can do, we are here to help. And a, again, the uh, this is no one of us has been here before. One thing I can guarantee: this is not going to be a smooth ride. So. Bear with us and forgive us in a, in a head that there will be glitches, there will be uh, something going wrong. And if you see something, say something, same as every year. Let us know what went wrong immediately so that we can try to fix it as it happens. We have a back, whole back infrastructure enabling us to, in a quite uh, speedy manner, to address a lot of technical issues and, and address a lot of things which you might come up with. And, and of course, you know, if, if you have new ideas, facilitate those. So be active with us because we want to be active with you. Uh, we are here to help. Without further ado, I probably forgot something I should have said, uh, but without further ado, I hope you have a safe, and you stay safe, you have a safe, DEFCON 28 safe month. Thank you.